What if I told you that you could get more engagement without having to pay for any ads and it has absolutely nothing to do with the best time to post or the best hashtags to use? See, the number one problem with most real estate agents is that they spend 80% of their time focusing on the little things that don't matter as much. Hey, my name is John Mendez. I'm the founder of Stop and Stare Media, where I've helped over 700 realtors boost their online presence. And if you're new here, make sure to check the timestamps below because I know your time is valuable and you know why you're here. So let's get right into this one. So there's two main reasons why most realtors don't get any engagement when they post online. The first of which is they don't know why they're posting. Like we're living in a day and age where everyone is just posting just because we're kind of forced almost to be online, whether we want to or not. So they don't know why on earth they're actually posting besides the fact that they feel like they have to. And that'll be a video topic for another day. But the main one I want to talk about is they don't know who they're posting for. No matter where you look at, everyone always tells you that you need an ideal avatar. You need to find your niche or your niche or however you want to pronounce it. See, when I ask most realtors who their ideal avatar is, most of them give me what I call the Miss America answer. They say, I help everyone. I help any and everyone. And it's great and all, but the problem with it when it comes to marketing, that's actually a terrible strategy to actually reach your ideal audience, to actually help more people. Because one of the most famous marketing quotes is, if you speak to everyone, you reach no one. And most realtors are trying to speak to everyone and wondering why they're reaching no one and wondering why their content sucks. So here's the solution so you can start getting more engagement. But before I share with you the solution, make sure to be a supporter and hit the like button below so that YouTube knows that you want to see more content like this. So let's get right into it. See, the issue with most realtors is that they don't have an ideal avatar. This is the most important thing that you could do because it is crucial that you attract the people that not only you want to work with, but the people that you're most qualified to serve. For example, you may know more about new construction homes than you know about selling land. So if someone were to come to you to sell their land, and that's not your area of expertise, of course you may help them, but you may not be able to help them as well as someone else can. And fortunately for us realtors, we can charge a referral fee. So if it's not in our domain of expertise, we could always get a referral fee because 100% of nothing is always worse than 50% of something. So here's how we find our ideal avatar. You have to understand the mind of your ideal avatar. So for example, we're going to name this person Fred. Fred is a first time home buyer, right? So Fred is here on this cliff and Fred wants to get to the other side of the cliff. But there's currently a gap in the middle, right? So Fred currently has three things that are holding him back. Fred has problems. He has questions and he has roadblocks. So the problem for Fred may be something along the lines of, he has more student loan than he can chew right now. Or he didn't really have a good paying job, so he's just not making that much money. It could be tons of different reasons. And these problems are holding him back from getting to his number four, the other side of the cliff, which is his ideal result. You have to know where Fred wants to end up. For in this scenario, Fred wants to be a first-time homeowner. He wants to break the generational curse in his family for being renters. And one of the best ways to start figuring out what Fred problem is, if you don't know where to start, is if you go to nar.realtor, nar.realtor, on there, if you go to research and statistics, they have tons of graphs that share the demographics of the home buyers and sellers. They compile tons of data, and it shows you the most common things that hold different types of buyers and sellers back. And it lists it out for you to have tons of charts and to have tons of graphs. This could be a great place to start. And I'll share with you the top five questions to ask to figure out your ideal avatar after I finish this example. So stay tuned to the end. So the second thing that is holding Fred back are questions. Fred has tons of questions. It could be about down payment assistance. It could be about finding a property. These are just some examples. But you have to figure out what questions is your ideal avatar already asking themselves that is stopping them from moving forward. You have to ask themselves what questions are they asking themselves. One of the best ways to figure out what questions that they're asking themselves is if you go to answerthepublic.com. Again, that's answerthepublic.com. You could actually type in a keyword and then it will aggregate all the most common Google searches and it'll actually list it out for you by search volume. So you can get almost an insider sneak peek as to what people are looking for when they search on Google. So if you type in keywords, buying a home, it'll generate a list of like 
a hundred or two hundred questions of what people are looking for that has the keywords buying a home. Now I have a general idea as to the questions that Fred may be potentially looking up when he goes on Google to figure out and learn more information. The third thing that is holding your ideal avatar back is Roblox. For example, I mentioned earlier that Fred has student loans. This is one of the biggest roadblocks, not just for Fred, but for most first time home buyers. I know because I read the NAR report for 2021 and 2022. It is consistently one of the biggest things holding people back when it comes to first time home buyers. You have to figure out what's holding your ideal avatar back. All these roadblocks it could be parents. It could be the fact that they're getting elderly and they don't want to go through this process again in this market, right? Whatever it may be, you have to figure out what the roadblocks are because until they're removed, they will never be able to reach their ideal result, which is where they want to be. So then that brings up the question, how do we get your ideal avatar from this side of the cliff to the other side? Your content is the bridge that gets Fred from one side where he's is at right now to where he wants to be. So when you're creating content, Ask yourself, how is this specifically answering Fred's problems, questions, and roadblocks? And how is this going to help him get from where he's currently at to where he wants to be? Now, your ideal avatar may not be Fred. It may not be a first-time home buyer. Maybe a seller, maybe a investor, maybe a second home buyer, maybe someone resizing or relocating. But everyone has problems, questions, and roadblocks that are currently holding them back from where they want to be. Your content is going to be the bridge that gets them from where they are to where they want to be. So when you ask yourself, hey, should I post this? Ask yourself, hey, is this helping my ideal avatar get their ideal dream result? Before I share the five questions to ask to get a deeper understanding of your ideal avatar, I want to let you know that I created a course, Content Creator Fast Track for Real Estate Agents. I specifically designed this course to help non-tech savvy real estate agents who struggle to post consistently learn how to create months worth of content in an hour through in-depth training modules, live weekly office hours, and leveraging artificial intelligence to repurpose their content. So if this sounds like something that interests you, make sure to click the link below so that you can enroll in the course and that I can take your online presence to the next level. But for now, here's the five questions. And as I promised earlier, here are the five questions that I asked to make sure I get a deeper understanding of my ideal avatar so I know what kind of content to make. So what, here's my strategy. What you want to do is first make a list of all the people that you genuinely enjoyed working with, where the process, it may have not been the most seamless, but you genuinely enjoyed working with those people. Then secondly, what you want to do is list out all the common traits that these people have. Find the similarities as to you know who they are, what they do, et cetera. That's going to help a ton. Step number three is get on the phone with these people. Get on the phone, call them up. And what you want to ask are these five questions. Question number one, what are your biggest struggles and frustrations with fill in the blank? What are your biggest struggles and frustrations with buying a home, with selling your home, getting a fix and flip, buying your first investment property, relocating? What are your biggest struggles and frustrations with fill in the blank? Question number two, what fears do you have around fill in the blank? What fears do you have around becoming a first time homeowner? What fears do you have around relocating to the other side of the country because of work, because of the military? Figure out what fears do they currently have. Question number three, what are you currently doing to fill in the blank? What are you currently doing to start buying your first home? What are you currently doing to fill in the blank? Right. And the next question that comes from that is in an ideal world, what would it look like when fill in the blank? What would it look like when you buy that home of your dreams? What would it look like when you're no longer a renter? What would it look like when now you're a real estate investor? What would it look like once you get your fifth property, your 10th property? Find that ideal result. And I always recommend going three levels deep with this one. And as a bonus tip, figure out why they want what they want. Figure out the reason behind it. Yeah, they want to become a first-time homeowner, but what is the reason behind it? Is because their family has a generation and generations of renters, and this is breaking that curse? Like, find out what is the reason behind it all. 
That's super important. And then question number five is, if you could wave a magic wand right now that gets you from where you're currently at to where you want to be, what would you need? If you can wave a magic wand right now that will get you from where you are to where you want to be, what would you need? This is literally the biggest cheat code ever because you're literally asking them what they need. And then your content is going to be pretty much centered around exactly what they need. This social media stuff, you could think of it as like a test. And if you could get the answers to the test, knowing that you're going to have to take the test anyways, why not get the answers? These questions are helping you get the answers from them so that you don't have to guess next time you're on social media, what on earth should I post? This is going to be literally the secret sauce to helping your content resonate more with the people that you're truly called to serve. So now that you know how to make videos that resonate with your ideal client avatar, one of the biggest questions I get is, John, which platform should I use? John, which platform should I start with? So make sure you click on this video right here so you could find out the best platform in 2023 to start with.